वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल्स ऑन इंजीनियरिंग रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मटीरियल सो दिस इज अ बेजिक फंडामेंटल टॉपिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द इंजीनियरिंग रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द मटीरियल सो इन वेरियस इंजीनियरिंग डिसिप्लीन सच एज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज और इवन इन टू अ इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग सो यू विल कंसिडरिंग द ऑल द डिसिप्लिन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डेट विल बी हैविंग इनफ नॉलेज फॉर प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द मटीरियल सो डेट विल बी द मेनली फोकस एरिया फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ इंजीनियर सो that will be the basics about the engineering requirements of the material so only on to focusing on to the proper utilization of your selected material so that will be the our target area then and then we will get the maximum output from our products so that will be basically the requirements by the customers so in second topic so basically the various kind of applications that will be correlated with the different branch of engineering or you can say the discipline of engineering so the respective products such as bridges so bridge is basically for the civil engineers so according to my requirements and life of that particular bridge we would select such kind of materials that will be having a good performance then second applications like an automobile so basically according to my requirement of the weight their performance of the products and the durability we would like to select our materials then power plants so generally power plants it will be used to developing electricity so that will be having a high temperature applications so all the components selected that only depends upon the high temperature applications then chemical vessels so in the case of chemical industries storage as well as transportation of the one chemical from one place to another place so we would like to select such kind of material that will be not chemically affected by the environment or not that material it will be affected by the any kind of materials so the basic knowledge of that particular properties and behavior under the service condition of the materials so in second topic more focus only on to the service condition of the materials is necessary so that service condition it will be like under the loading condition of the materials so different applications it will be having a different conditions if i am talking about boiler so boiler that will be the high pressure high temperature applications so that selected material it will be withstanding at higher temperature as well as your higher pressure some bridge materials so it will be having a different environment conditions for automobiles different conditions for chemical vessels it will be different conditions so you have to examine or you have some basic knowledge about that service conditions or you can see that under the loading conditions so second part that will be related with the service conditions or under the loading conditions and that conditions it will be having a proper utilization of the selected materials so that too it will be the basic engineering requirements of the materials in third section as we already discussing into the proper utilization of the selected material into the under the loading conditions or you can say the service condition of the materials so that service conditions that will be including the mechanical loadings so mechanical loading that will be repeated loading or you can say fatigue loading tensile loading compression loading so any kind of that loading it will be considering as a mechanical loading then temperature so temperature having a vital role for changing their properties of the any kind of materials so all the materials or you can say metallic materials it will be having a higher temperature it will be changes the properties and 
its property is going to be changed. So its structure is changed and according to structure is changed, its behavior it will be changed. So second important part for the service condition that will be included as a temperature. Then electric and magnetic fields. So if you work on to the any kind of conductive materials for transferring the electricity from one place to another place. So in that case it will be the generation of the magnetic field. So that magnetic field that will be affected any other neighborhood materials. So such kind of material it will be having a withstanding such kind of magnetic fields or you can say chemical surroundings. So by the in contact of the chemical all the materials that will be deteriorating the properties of the metals. So our selected material it will be withstanding all that characteristics at that chemical surroundings. Suppose I want to take one examples of the food industries. So that storage of the food as well as the processing onto the food it never reacts with the any kind of component is being used for the production of the foods. So that will be the one kind of examples. So the service conditions it may be mechanical it may be temperature load, electrical load, magnetic flow load or you can say environment conditions. So these all are considering as a loading so you can say service loading or you can say that under the loading conditions. So that loading conditions it will be having a proper utilization of the materials. So these three are the main proper utilization, second service conditions and the environment effect. So this can be grouped as under. So first of all you have to work on that materials which will be having a proper utilization under the loading conditions. Then the first that will be the fabrication requirements. So our selected material it will be easily fabricated from the raw material to finished product. So whichever manufacturing process is going to be used that will be having a less time and less cost for developing such kind of components which will be used or you can say proper use into the service conditions. So that will be the first requirement fabrication requirement. So so many fabrication process are there. So basically metal cutting, metal joining, castings, powder metallurgy. So these all are the feasible processes is available. So by this process you will converting your raw material into the finish product. Service requirements. So by the utilization of such kind of raw materials for developing the finished products into the proper utilizations as well as the under the loading conditions it will be having a good service or you can say good durability and flexibility. Then and then it will be having a hundred percent satisfaction for the customers. So it will be having a good service requirements. So it will be having a high productivity as well as the 100% performance as per the requirements. Then it will be having a long life. So that are considering for the service requirements. And that will be also having a less maintenance cost. Then next one. Third and important part economic requirements. So our selected materials that will be as economic as we require. So basically our selected material it will be having a less cost or you can say less raw material cost easily available. Then you can easily converting into raw material to finished product or you can say that with minimum manufacturing cost then it will be having a good service requirements or you can say good durability, longer life. So it will be having a good performance. So basically the economic requirements that will be the mainly focus nowadays. And nowadays government is also focusing on the recycling of the materials. So you can easily reuse up the particular materials. So the engineering requirements of the materials it will be depends upon the proper utilizations then under the loading conditions and loading conditions like mechanical, temperature, magnetic field and chemical surrounding that will be the main focused area and 
if it will be group so that will be the requirements of the fabrication service and economics so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching